Okay, so we're ready to get started with symbols. I think you're really going to enjoy this. Go ahead and create for yourself a brand new blank document, if you would. We're going to start off with graphic symbols first, right off the top here. These are the simplest symbol type, by the way. Graphic symbols are great for static objects, things like logos or perhaps interface elements, things like that. They can be used for simple animation, but if you want to create something that has more complex animation, you really want to go with a movie clip symbol, which we'll see in just a little while. Now, what we can do with our symbols too, by the way, is we can create them from scratch or we can build them, we can construct them from existing content. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to show you both methods. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to hit Commando or Control O on my keyboard into my open dialog box and inside my project files folder. Go ahead and grab invaders.fla. Go ahead and pop that file open. And what we will find inside invaders.fla are two alien invaders. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this first guy here, go ahead and select him. I want you to copy him and then head back over to your new blank flash project and go ahead and, and paste that guy in. There we go. So we want to take this cartoon alien invader and we want to convert him to a graphic symbol. So we're going to take this existing content and convert it to a graphic symbol. Here's how it goes. Make sure you have that content selected, the content that you want to convert to a graphic symbol, and then head up to your modify menu all the way up at the top, and then down to convert to symbol. And notice your keyboard shortcut, by the way, this is a good shortcut to remember, simply F8 on your keyboard, okay? Now, as soon as we choose modify and then convert to symbol, we're brought into this convert to symbol dialog box. And right off the bat, it's asking us for a name for our symbol. Now, oftentimes I'm in a hurry and I'm not really thinking and I just leave the name, the default name there, symbol one. And I wind up with, you know, symbol one, symbol two, symbol three, symbol 17, symbol 18, symbol 19. You get the idea. I have all these symbols and I can't remember which one's which. So I highly recommend that you give your symbols nice, useful names, perhaps something like Alien Invader. How's that? How about alien invader number one, okay? Now, below that, we can set the symbol type. There's movie clip, the default. We want to go with a graphic symbol type. So go ahead and set the type menu to graphic. And then when you're ready, go ahead and click OK on your keyboard. Now, whether you know it or not, a bunch of interesting things have happened. What I now see on my screen is not the alien invader. Now what I have is an instance of my alien invader. And this is probably the toughest thing for new Flash users to wrap the old noodle around. This is not my symbol on the stage. This is an instance of my symbol, as it's called. Think of it as an occurrence of your symbol, if you will. So I have this instance selected on the stage. Over inside the properties panel, I can see it reads instance of, and then whatever you had named your symbol, alien invader number one, okay? Now, the big question, where are the actual symbols stored? If this is a copy of my symbol, or an instance, or an occurrence of my symbol, where is the actual symbol stored? Well, that's what the library panel is all about. So go ahead and pop open your library panel and lo and behold, you will discover your alien invader or whatever content it is that you're using as your graphic symbol. So notice, by the way, inside the library panel, we have this preview area at the top and then we have sort of a list view at the bottom. And by the way, of course, you just saw me do this. You can drag that divider up and down if you want to have a slightly larger preview. Now, down in the bottom area here, we have Alien Invader number one, and notice the icon here. This is the icon for our graphic symbol type. So as we start working with the different symbol types, you'll see different icons appearing here, okay? So there you go. There's the basics for taking some existing content that either you paste into your project, as we had done here, or you could take some content that you had already created, you select that content, and then convert it to a graphic symbol, okay? Now, in the next exercise, what I wanna do is I wanna show you how you can create a graphic symbol from scratch, from nothing.
Let's go and see how to do that. 